Hello, everybody. Um, I'm wanting to just kind of discuss some things with you guys today. Um, so, you know, I'm a single mom. I've been a single mom for so many years. Um, it's it's a very hard, um, you know, road, right? Um, I know there's a lot of other single moms out there that, you know, may have, um, you know, experienced the same thing that I have and or are just entering into maybe single momhood. I mean, all of our intent is obviously to make sure that, you know, um, our kids are, are raised with, you know, good intentions and, you know, two family, uh, two parents, but sometimes, you know, that doesn't always happen. Right. And so sometimes we're left with, um, making choices, right. Um, our choices are based on, you know, uh, what is best hopefully for our children. And then also, you know, what is best financially for, for us. Right. So, you know, many years I have, um, you know, worked tons and tons of different jobs, right. It was very, very difficult. Um, you know, I had a shared parenting arrangement. And so with that, what I had to do is I had to um, adjust my schedule um, to fit the children's and then also to fit, um, obviously, the uh, the parent um, that I was co-parenting with, right? And, um, you know, this can be very hard when it comes to work or financially, you know, making money, because um, unfortunately, whenever I first had my first child, I was very, very young. I was only um, 20 going on 21. I hadn't finished college. I, you know, the options for me were basically waitress work. And um, that's kind of where I continued to see uh, myself in that industry throughout the time. But I knew I wanted to go to school and I knew I wanted to try to make the best difference that I could in my, my life and for my children. So there was a time frame whenever, um, somebody had introduced, um, you know, insurance to me and I wasn't really sure I was kind of, um, you know, not thinking that it would um, make sense for me, right? Because, you know, here I am, I'm putting myself through school, trying to get myself a better education, because my main focus is trying to make sure as a single mom that I'm able to take care of my children. And what happened is um, I went online, and I decided, you know, let me see about this insurance, let me see if I can, um, you know, make any money or how much it is to get a license. I paid for the license myself with that. I literally, um, went and got uh, the schooling. It was an online course that I did. They sent me the book and then I took the test and I passed and I was like, okay, now what? And what I found is that I ended up, um, you know, um, reaching, um, a Craigslist ad and um, started with a company. And within that company, I ended up finding that my first family that I ended up helping, um, I made a great amount of money off of. And I was just like, whoa, you know, like this really, it really does work. It really can help. Like this is money that's really going into my bank account and it's paid for my license. And I have extra money to take care of more bills. And all I did was I went and I helped somebody with something that is important to them, right? Because um, obviously insurance is important to all of us. We always want to make sure we have some sort of protection, whether it be your car, your home, um, you know, if you're renting your renter's insurance, you know, um, things like that, right? Like those are essentials, health insurance, um, you know, that's really, really important, right? Um, so, you know, what I, what I found was what I am doing, it, was actually um, essential, right? It was essential to make sure that, um, you know, families had a life insurance to make sure that whenever, you know, um, anything happened to them, that they would be able to be covered. Um, I knew the importance of insurance. I had, um, you know, my grandma passed away. And um, like I said, I was, you know, a young mom. And, you know, I ended up getting, um, you know, just a small amount, um, because she didn't have, you know, tons of insurance, but she left some for the grandkids. And, you know, with that, I was able to actually, you know, use it as a, um, uh, you know, an extension to, to become a better person, you know, education wise. And so that's really what I did with it. It wasn't very much, I think I got maybe, um, you know, like $2,000. And, you know, I mean, it's, it is a lot, but you know, it, it wasn't anything, you know, that, um, 
was like, you know, what we see sometimes where people are getting hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like it was nothing like that, but it was still that small amount that made a huge difference in my life because I was able to do something to better my life. And that's really what the insurance does for other families too, is it gives them um, the ability to leave and pass on something for, um, you know, whether it be, you know, their spouse, um, their um, children, their grandchildren, um, to uh, have a better life, right? So for me, that's what I was seeking in general, just being a single mom, right? I was seeking a better life. Um, so why not use um, the industry that was introduced to me and continue to grow with it, right? Well, that's what I found was one of the most important um, turning points in my life as a single mom. Um, you know, so I continue to invest in, um, you know, the industry and learn. And I'm also putting myself through school, taking care of my kids. I had many jobs that I was still doing. Um, so I didn't give it a full, full attention to it, right? But I can say that as the years progress, um, what I found is that I continually, um, interacted with the insurance industry, right? I, I knew that it was something that was real. I had to get a state license. I had to be registered. I had to get a background check. Like this is something that's real. It's not just something that's a fly by night thing where, you know, you just invest this amount of money and, you know, get this product or do this, or, you know, because usually when you're finding yourself investing into something, whether it be, you know, your own business or some sort of, um, you know, opportunity that has been presented to you, you're going to have to invest in it, right? Like you're going to have to, you know, put some money out, right? And so um, I found that because I continued to invest into this industry, learning different things, learning my products, learning, um, you know, interacting with the um, families and how, how to interact properly, right? Um, there's, a, there's a psychology to it, you know, you don't want to, um, you know, go in there and, and, and not present yourself in a professional manner. And that takes time right? You have to learn these skills. And, um, I found that the more that I learned these skills and the more that I, um, focused on, um, the industry, the more and more I fell in love with it, right? I fell in love with, um, the money that I was able to make, helping these families, doing things that were going to better my family. And, you know, as time has went on being the single mom that I am, I, um, I found um, relief, right? I found a sense of financial um, security um, by doing this. And, you know, the reason why I'm talking to you guys all about this is just that I want you to understand single moms that, you know, I understand where you're coming from. Um, you know, I'm still single. I still don't have somebody that, you know, is able to help me financially, right? I mean, you know, most of us women, ideally we do. We want a partner, rather, you know, we want somebody that's going to be there and help us and support us. Right. And sometimes when we don't have that, we have to take all of this into our own hands, right? We have to make sure that, um, you know, everybody's taken care of. And I, and I know I've said that before, but it's just so true, right? Um, it's just in our nature. And I can tell you that if, you know, you're looking for something that can bring in just some additional income or, you know, a career change that this industry, um, it really can have life-changing effects on you and your family. Um, especially as a single mom, it gives you that freedom to where you can adjust your schedule, um, to your, your children's, um, you know, school school, or if you have to pick them up, you know, when I first started, um, you know, my kids were getting a little bit older, but during that time when they were younger, like I didn't have that option. Like I had to take off work. If I needed to pick them up, I always felt so guilty. I was like, I'm, I'm not that room parent. And, you know, like, I want to, I want to be able to do there that and be there with my kids. And, you know, and I, I tried my best, right? But sometimes you just feel that guilt, right? Because you're doing your best, but yet is it enough, right? And um, I just want to let you guys know that this here can be a life-changing um, avenue for single moms, right? You don't have to work full-time. You can just kind of implement this in, make some extra money, as long as you understand how the business works. And that's what I want to do for you. I want to help you um, see that success. And I want to help change your family's life. So, you know, this was a lot today, but I do just want to introduce that to you. I want to let you know, single moms, that we do have options. We don't have to be, you know, um, pushed aside and, and made to, 
to feel like we're not good enough, right? Because we are, we are essential for our children. And sometimes that requires us to, to step back and um, reevaluate things and do the things that are going to be in the best intention of our children. So I wanted to um, say, Hey, and um, introduce this, like I said, and hopefully I'll hear from you guys soon. And we can kind of um, continue to grow in this area together um, as single moms and make a difference in the world. So bye.